We now have in the studio Kane De Amudu, our State House correspondent, to discuss the changes in the Cabinet. Uh, good afternoon and thank you so much for joining us. Thank, on. You, thank you for yes. having me. All right, so now six out of seven new ministers, you know, are given portfolios uh, as ministers of state. Is this a deliberate action? Well, um, this, these ministers are joining the cabinet for the last lap, the next one year. Mm. Uh, so, um, yes, it's a deliberate action. There are ministers that have been there before them, and so they, they, they're going to come and deputize them. Very strange, however, is the minister that made the uh, minister, uh, full minister, uh, mm. that's Moazu Jaji Sambo. Mm. He, joined the, he joined the cabinet last year when President Buhari sacked two ministers. And now he is the minister uh, from Minister of State. He has been elevated to the Minister of Transportation. Mm. Uh, although, if you, could, if you look at it, he was uh, area manager of the legal zone of the National Inland waterways authority so you know he was put in the right uh, spot uh, also uh, very strange is Bimi Sola Saraki was minister of state for transportation mm -hmm. and she's been a minister of state for over seven years yeah. and she's still a minister of state moved from transportation to, to yeah, minister mine. of state mines and steel development mm -hmm. so um, no surprise for the others really uh, some of them are newbies. Okay. Uh, um, for instance, Elkanah uh, Joseph is a newcomer. Mm. He's going there as Minister of State Health. And then Henry Eko was a former commissioner uh, for industry in Abia State. Uh, he was actually running for Senate. And then I think he was compensated with that seat as the Minister of State for Science and Technology. Okay, so do we ex expect you know, these ministers to hit the ground running immediately? It depends on what you call hit the ground running. Mm. Uh, there's already processes that have been put in place. They mm. are expected to fit into the running of government mm. seamlessly. And that is probably why they weren't made full ministers. Mm. They're deputizing full ministers. So they have to just sit down and get used uh, to the job. Okay, so what's the uh, significance of the president's trip to Senegal to attend the International Development Association? Uh, is it a necessary trip at this point in time? I, I know a lot of people are uh, saying that the president uh, must have been callous if there was an attack on Kujé, there was a killing of an ACP, there was an attack on his uh, convoy. But uh, this, what is at stake is $93 billion mm. that will be shared among uh, um, uh, countries that are invited for that uh, open dialogue on development challenges and priorities, as well as initiatives. Mm -hmm. And it's going to lead to an outcome document. So um, I guess what he's looking at is that, well, I can't, you know, I can't uh, miss out because Nigeria actually does need the funds yeah. to fund its economy. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, I think uh, that will be all on this. Thank you so much, Mr. Kendi, for joining us on News Updates. You know, this <laughs> Thank evening. you for having me.